Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. So today we've got the Korg Volca keys here, and I'm going to show you guys how to make one of my favorite lead sounds of all time on this guy. It's this spacey, ghostly kind of ethereal sound, and the best part about this is that we do not need any external effects or anything to really make this sound sing. I use this sound in a lot of my music. It's a great lead. I think it can cut through just about anything if used properly, and uh, there's not really, in my opinion, anywhere that it doesn't uh, fit in at least a little bit. So uh, yeah, one of my favorite sounds. I'm excited to show you guys how to make it. But before we dive in, I do need to shout out one of my patrons, and today's shout out goes to Kit Rodriguezo. Kit, thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you'd like to help out and support the channel, just head over to patreon.com slash freebeat. Let's get going on this. So for the sake of this video, I have every single knob except the volume turned to the far left. So we're not getting any sound right now. So we're going to start off by setting uh, the uh, oscillator type knob here to unison ring. That's going to get us into kind of a square wavy uh, area. Still doesn't make any noise, so we're going to fix that. Let's go ahead and turn our filter cutoff to about eh, 3 o'clock or so. And let's go ahead and turn up our sustain, just so we can have some kind of note. Now what we're going to do is use our octave knob here. We're going to change it all the way to the highest setting, the uh, one foot position. Cool. So now we're really ready to get started. So the first thing we want to get right is our envelope over here. So we're going to bring our attack up to about 10 o'clock or so. We just want to get rid of that, that kind of clicky snap into the, uh, into the tone. So about 10 o'clock or so. There we go. Now we're going to take our decay slash release knob and completely max it out. Now we can actually turn off our sustain knob. There we go. Now it might seem that we're jumping into this next step a bit early, but next we're going to tackle the delay. So with the time, we're going to bump it up just a little bit. We want it to get as tight as possible. And then we're going to max out the feedback. You can drop the time down a little lower. In this case, because we only have a delay effect to work with, we're almost going to use it kind of like a reverb. We can already hear our sound starting to take shape. Next, what we want to do is make it so that our envelope generator affects the pitch of the uh, note, but just, just barely, just the slightest amount. So since we barely have our attack turned up, it's just going to slide into the note just the slightest bit, but at the end it's going to fall off because our decay slash release is maxed. So I'm going to set this envelope uh, intensity down here under the VCO section to let's say 9 o'clock. I think that's going to be too much. You can kind of hear how it scoops in and then falls out. That is too much. Let's drop it down to, I don't know, 7 or 8, somewhere in there. A little higher than that. There we go. Looks like around 8 o'clock or so. I might turn it down just a hair. Next up, we are going to move the detune knob just a little bit. Going to keep that one, uh, let's say, 8.30 or so. Yeah, there we go. And now we want to take our portamento knob and turn that up just a little bit. And that's going to give us that nice slide between those notes. We can hear that sounds really nice with the delay on there. If you'd like, you can turn up the sustain so you can play with that a little better. You know, it just is a beautiful sound. I really, really love it. And again, in this higher octave range, I think it cuts really well. Yeah. 
<laughs> that delay just kind of takes it over the top. Okay, so we are almost done, but next we need to address our LFO. We're gonna get a little bit of a, a pitch modulation in there, so uh, what we want to do is hold the function button and set our LFO type to triangle wave. So when you're holding function, hit M5. Now rather than a saw wave, it's gonna be a triangle shape. And now what we're gonna do is hold down a note and slowly turn up pitch intensity. So I've got the pitch intensity set to about nine o'clock. We can hear it going pretty slowly. So now what we're gonna do is turn up the rate knob And that vibrato is going to get pretty intense. And that seems like a bit too much for me, actually. So I'm going to turn down the pitch intensity a little. We just kind of want that slightly unsettling effect in there. So I've got the pitch intensity just under 9 o'clock. And I've got the LFO rate completely maxed. And that sounds pretty good. Yeah, that sounds very cool. Some of you guys might recognize this sound from uh, like Ghost in the Galaxy, which is one of my favorite tracks that I've written. Which I originally came up with that lead on the OPZ and uh, for the Halloween concert when we kind of retooled a lot of those songs, I re-recorded that lead on the Volca Keys, actually. So uh, yeah, using the sound exactly. In fact, I took a picture of the patch and uh, that's how I pulled it up for this video. And uh, yeah, I think it sounds really, really cool. My favorite thing about this patch is that it does not require any external effects or anything like that. You don't even really need a MIDI controller. As you can see in this video, I just used the uh, the fake keys on the Volca keys. And of course, feel free to mess with this and make it your own. Uh, it does sound particularly cool when you increase the peak of the filter and mess with the cutoff. You can uh, kind of push this into some like Lord of the Rings-ish territory, actually, if you uh, mess uh, around with the portamento and sending the LFO also to the cutoff. But that's a whole other world to explore. I'm really happy with this patch and this sound. I've used it quite a bit. Um, I actually have a sample of it saved on my computer so I can bring it up in other instruments if I need it. And that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you found this patch useful, go ahead and hit that like button. If not, you can hit the dislike button. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.